Killer T-cell discovery could mean universal cancer treatment. A new type of killer T-cell could serve as one-size-fits-all cancer therapy. Researchers at Cardiff University in Wales discovered a different kind of T-cell receptor, TCR, one that recognizes and kills most human cancer cells while ignoring healthy ones. The early stage findings, published this week in the journal Nature Immunology, have not yet been tested in patients. But the team said they have enormous potential. Understanding T-cells T-cells are a type of lymphocyte, white blood cell, that develop in the thymus gland, hence the name. Born from stem cells in bone marrow, they help protect the body from infection. But T-cells can't always differentiate between destructive and nourishing cells, allowing some cancerous cells to fall through the cracks. Scientists are working to improve this system through various immunotherapies, including CAR-T, a specialized treatment that targets only a few types of cancer and has not been successful for solid tumors. New TCR on the block conventional T-cells scan other cells looking for anomalies. The system recognizes small parts of cellular proteins bound to surface-level molecules called human leukocyte antigen, HLA. Annoyingly, HLA varies between individuals, preventing scientists from creating a single T-cell-based treatment to target most cancers. Enter Cardiff's unique TCR, able to recognize a range of cancers via the single HLA-like molecule MR1. Show and tell early experiments show the new, as yet unnamed TCR can kill lung, skin, blood, colon, breast, bone, prostate, ovarian, kidney, and cervical cancer cells. A germ of all trades, if you will. Lead study author Andrew Sewell, an expert in T-cells from Cardiff University, said it is highly unusual to find a TCR with such broad cancer specificity, raising the prospect of universal therapy. Current TCR-based therapies can only be used in a minority of patients with a minority of cancers, he explained. We hope this new TCR may provide us with a different route to target and destroy a wide range of cancers in all individuals. When injected into cancerous mice bearing a human immune system, the MR1 spotting T-cells showed encouraging cancer-clearing results. The team also showed that modified T-cells of melanoma patients destroyed not only their own cancer cells, but those of other patients in the lab, regardless of HLA type. Cancer targeting via MR1 restricted T-cells is an exciting new frontier, Sewell said. Previously nobody believed this could be possible. What's next? Experiments are underway to determine exactly how the new TCR distinguishes between healthy cells and cancer. Researchers suspect it may involve changes in cellular metabolism. The Cardiff group hoped to trial their new approach in patients later this year, following further safety testing. There are plenty of hurdles to overcome, Sewell admitted. However, if this testing is successful, then I would hope this new treatment could be in use in patients in a few years' time. A renewable source of cancer-fighting T-cells last year, UCLA researchers developed a technique for turning pluripotent stem cells, capable of giving rise to every cell type in the body, into cancer-killing T-cells. The approach uses artificial thymic organoids to mimic the thymus and produce T-cells without needing to collect them from already depleted patients. And, when combined with gene editing, it could allow scientists to generate a virtually unlimited supply of T-cells for large-scale treatment.